Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have a giveaway coming soon. You're not gonna wanna miss it, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back and checking out another video. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, today is December 15th and it's National Cupcake Day. So I thought it would be really cool to go and get a cupcake from every cupcake place in Houston. So I've created a list of well-known and not so well-known cupcake places in Houston. Um, some, most, I've been to most of them before. Some of them, very few I've never been to before, but I'm a cupcake connoisseur. I've had cupcakes all over the world and cupcakes are just my thing. So I thought it would be really cool to bring you guys this content today. I've actually gotten a late start. It's really cold outside. It's rainy. Um, I dropped Rue off at the groomer early this morning and he's already ready. So I'm going to go and get him, but I'm going to keep him. I'm not going to bring him all the way back home because, honey, I've got 20 cup. Well, I don't know if it's 20, but it's over 10. So we've got to get going. I'm going to go get dressed and then I will see you guys in the car. Okay guys, so I had this really cute outfit planned out, but it's rainy and nasty, so I just put on this um, sweater, some jeans, and these little booties, and my little bucket bag. So, let's go. Hi guys, so I'm currently in the car. I've picked up Rue. Look how he's looking. I picked Rua from the groomer and we are on the hunt for cupcakes now. So the first place I went to, tell me why, they had an Instagram post saying, you know, today is National Cupcake Day. And then a picture of a cupcake, I get there and they say, no ma'am, we don't have cupcakes every day. But you just posted a cupcake on Instagram for National Cupcake Day. I don't get it. But I'm headed to another place now. Um, it's not far from where I was and so this place is called cupcake and a smile it's actually five minutes away so I'm going to talk to you guys when I get there y'all I've literally tried to go to one two three three cupcake places now and I haven't been able to get a cupcake so the third place I was trying to go to is cupcake and a smile but they're not open right now so couldn't get a cupcake from there so right now I'm headed to the Heights and I'm headed to Becca cakes um, I've seen them on Instagram so I called they are open I'm headed there now it'll take me about 10 minutes to get there so when I get there I will show you guys inside and we'll get our first cupcakes so y'all I, I literally started out with like a list of 20 but this 20 is dwindling down so we might end up with 10 um we'll see and it's two o'clock already so we'll see how many cupcakes we get to get okay so I got my first cupcake from Becca cakes I'm going to now insert a clip of what Becca cakes looks like on the inside it's super super cute donut break the Shipley donuts on Ella Shipley's donuts on Ella the donuts are hot like round the clock and I was literally just talking about the Shipley's with somebody like two days ago so I had to stop I'm super super hungry and I want something to eat um so I may put me an order in for something really quickly maybe I'm gonna look at their menu while I'm sitting in the Shipley's line okay that's annoying um but we'll see because I really just want like something quick but Rue is so annoyed with me right now I really and he hasn't eaten I'm like a bad mom y'all my child has not eaten 
and I'm finna eat, but I'm probably gonna get him something. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna call my order in, be right back. Okay, y'all. So I've got my donut. I placed an order for me to get something to eat from Gatlin's, just a sausage sandwich. But I got my hot glazed donut, and we're gonna taste it because I wanna see what all the rave is about. Okay, it's no different than a regular hot Shipley's donut. Like literally, it's the same. I guess people rave about it because they're always hot, but it tastes no different. I'm about to go on Gatlin's. Get me a sandwich. Get back on the road. Oh my god. Okay, let me hurry up and get in here. Guys, so several hours have passed and I am back at home and I have collected cupcakes from 10 different bakeries in Houston. So before I take them out of the box and show you the individual cupcakes, I'm gonna name all of the places and what I got from each place. So the first place is the Sweet Boutique. If you have seen my Moki Donut review, I also got those from the Sweet Boutique, so I'm going to leave that video up here in case you guys have not seen it. Go check that out. The next place I uh, got cupcakes from was Treat. I really, really, really like their cupcakes. Um, I also got Rue a cupcake from Treat, and I got two cupcakes from there. The next place that I went to is a Houston favorite, Crave Cupcakes. Um, I got a cupcake from Three Brothers Bakery, which is a popular bakery here in Houston. I went to Becca Cakes, which is a fairly new bakery in Houston. I also went to Celebrity. This is one of my favorites. I went to Sweet. I also went to Gigi's Cupcakes. I went to Sprinkles. Everybody knows and loves Sprinkles. And then last but not least, I went to Cake Swirl, and this is a black owned business. Um, as I mentioned before, I tried to go to three black owned bakeries before I went to Cake Swirl um, that were in my list, probably four, but they were either closed or didn't have any cupcakes. And I thought that was kind of odd being that it is National Cupcake Day, but whatever. I feel like these Cake Swirl cupcakes are gonna be super yummy. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on my platters. I have these white platters right here. So I'm gonna take them out of their boxes, put them on the platters, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have all of my cupcakes lined up here. I have a total of 13 cupcakes. And I'm going to taste them in no particular order. I already have one right here on this plate, and so we'll start with that one. So this cupcake is a strawberry cream cupcake, I believe, from Becca Cakes. And I have my water here because I'm definitely gonna need it. And it's super cute. It has like a fresh strawberry and some gold leaf on the strawberry. So super cute. Um, the actual location was cute as well. So. Let's just get into it. My first cupcake. But, although there are fresh strawberries in the cake, 
I was hoping that would give it a little bit more moistness than it does have, but it's not bad. So as I go through these cupcakes, I'm gonna rank them um, in terms of presentation and just overall taste. And I'm gonna keep them in my phone and um, share them, share the rankings with you at the end. It's tasty. It is homemade. No cake mix, but I'm just wanting it to be a little more moist than it is. But it was really pretty. The actual location was re really pretty. Um, but I just want it to be more moist. So that's my first cupcake from Becca Cakes. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it. So the next cupcake that I'm going to be rating is from Sprinkles. This is how it looks, it's from Sprinkles. I've never had this particular cupcake. Signature Sprinkles cupcake. You can see it has sprinkles all on the outside. So I really wanted to get cupcakes that I've never had before. Um, so that I could rate them and not be totally like biased because I like the cupcake. Because the inside of the Sprinkles cupcake is giving funfetti. Sprinkles cupcakes have a lot of icing, like a lot. Okay. So, I like the flavor for the sprinkles or funfetti, but it's really, really dense and really, really dry. The flavor is good, but it's dry. So, sprinkles, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the rating. So for Becca Cakes, I gave it a 3.5. And for sprinkles, I'm gonna have to give it a two. It's just really, really dry and dense. I dry, it's not like crumbly dry, but it's just really dense. It's not moist and fluffy. So, I've had better cupcakes from Sprinkles, but this cupcake is going to earn a two today. This next cupcake is a red velvet cupcake and it comes from Gigi's. Very simple. When I went into Gigi's, I was expecting it to not look so drab and just dry and boring. Gigi's is a franchise, I believe, and I just wasn't feeling the overall vibe of the location. I'm gonna taste the icing first. The icing is super, super sweet. Like, before I can even get cream cheese from the icing, I'm just getting straight sugar. So I don't like that. And then this cupcake is stuffed. I'm sure with the same, no. It's stuffed with like a cream cheese filling. But let's taste the actual cupcake. This cupcake is giving me cake mix vibes. However, it is moist. It's very, very moist, but I'm just not, like I wouldn't waste my calories on it. I can see why somebody would eat it. I can see by, why somebody would like it and why they would buy it. But for me, it's just not worth my calories, so. I'm gonna give Gigi's a two. And I don't know if I said it, Liberty. I'm giving Sprinkles a 2.5. I don't know if I said it or not. The next cupcake that I have is from Three Brothers Bakery. And this is a cheesecake cupcake. This is how it looks. The stuff in the case kind of looked old to me, but 
I'm going to be optimistic. I, I picked the cheesecake one. Let's see if it has a filling. It doesn't, does it? I don't know. Let's, let's taste. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Well, no. No. Okay. So the part that I got... The part of the cake that I got that had icing on it was okay. But this actual cake is not good. It's dry. I don't know if you can see how it's like literally crumbling in my hand it's really dry and crumbly it's not moist the icing is good it gives cheesecake but the cupcake is not worth my calories at all so the only thing that I liked about this cupcake is the icing and the icing is just okay so it'll be getting a two the next cupcake I'm going to be trying is the champagne cupcake from Sweet. It's very simple. It seems to be pretty moist. Mmm, it seems like I can smell some champagne. This is really good. You get champagne. It's moist. The icing isn't too sweet. It's just right. And the only thing that I would say is I don't like having to crunch so much from the sugar that they've topped it with. But the cupcake as a whole is really good. It's actually way better than I anticipated, so. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five. It gives flavor, the texture is good, the icing is good. Um, so yeah, sweet, sweet did that. It's the champagne cupcake for me. Okay, so this cupcake I feel is the most, not the most decorated, but it's it's the most pretty out of the cupcakes that I have. And this is the Wedding Cake Cupcake from Crave. And it feels like it's gonna be pretty moist, so we'll see. But really quick, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is the Wedding Cake Cupcake from Crave. The wedding Cake is typically like, has like a little bit of an almond flavor to it. I can tell this is gonna be moist, so super excited. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of it off. I can smell the almond. Totally, totally getting wedding cake from this. I get almond all the way through in the cake and the icing, however, it's not as moist as I want it to be. For me, when I'm eating a cupcake, I want it to melt in my mouth. And this, it has a little bit of a dry feel in my mouth, but the flavor is there the icing is delicious the how the cupcake was decorated it was beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four um they just need to make it a little more moist so this next cupcake is the only one that I've had previous to today and I am a little bit biased because it's my favorite cupcake from this particular place it is the pina colada cupcake from celebrity cupcakes it's really simple there's not much to the decor. I love this cupcake from there and so I'm hoping that it's up to par today. 
So at the bottom, it just has like um, caramelized pineapple. So that's where the pineapple comes in and pina colada. So I don't know if you can see the pineapple hanging down, but it's typically really, really good. It's really good. Everything is homemade. The flavors are there. The icing is really good. I just need it to be a little more moist. It's moist, but it can stand to be more moist. So for that, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 because it's really good however it's it's like heading to the dry side and we do not like a dry cupcake who wants a dry cupcake I like the toasted coconut on the top but typically they give like a bigger shard of coconut but today they just gave me crumbs. So overall, the Pina Colada Cupcake from Celebrity is really, really good. However, make sure you get it when it's fresh so that you don't have any problems with it being dry or dense. Um, but it's really, really good from top to bottom, literally, it's good. I've gone through seven cupcakes and I'm like, oh my God. So. I'm gonna start off with this cupcake. And this cupcake comes from Cake Swirl. It's a pumpkin spice. Cupcakes are from Cake Swirl. This is the pumpkin spice, and this is the strawberry champagne pistachio, I think. First up is a pumpkin spice. From just tearing off the wrapper, it's looking like it's gonna be kinda dry. But, let's see. So the icing is like a cream cheese icing. I really love that. Let's get into this pumpkin cake. So. Mm, it's definitely giving what it needs to give in terms of pumpkin. I taste pumpkin in the cake. The icing is the cream cheese icing, but I still taste pumpkin there. However, the texture is giving me pumpkin bread. Like it's not the texture of cake. It's giving me pumpkin bread. It's dense, it's not dry, but it's not light and fluffy. It's dense and it's giving me pumpkin bread but the flavor is there it tastes really good so for the first cupcake from cake swirl the pumpkin spice I'm going to rate it a four because it was really good however the texture just needs to be a little lighter less heavy and less bready if you get what I'm saying this is the strawberry champagne pistachio and I'm super excited to try it now this looks like the texture is gonna be different. Let me use the icing first. I'm getting strawberry. So, the texture of this is much lighter than the pumpkin bread, more cakey. It's not dry, but it's not melting your mouth. But it, okay, this texture is good. This is acceptable texture for a cupcake. 
but I'm not getting pistachio. Like, of course it's green. Of course there's some crumbled pistachio on top, but I don't taste, I'm not getting pistachio and I'm not getting champagne. Now let me make sure this cupcake is supposed to have champagne. I believe it is. It said pink champagne, but the icing is giving me strawberry. Hold on one second. So I was not able to find what flavor this is, but I'm pretty sure it was a strawberry champagne pistachio cupcake. So what I did appreciate about Cupcake Swirl is that they had super unique flavors, um, super unique flavors, and that's also true about Treat, which is next. And they were black owned, so I really like the texture of this second cupcake, um, way better than the pumpkin one. So I'm gonna give it a four, and the only reason I'm not rating it higher is because I didn't get champagne in it. If it's not supposed to have champagne, then sorry but I didn't get champagne and the strawberry just tasted a little bit artificial to me. Also, I didn't get pistachio. The pistachio is giving me like a red velvet type feel. So other than it being green and there being pistachio, pistachios on top, if they never said pistachio, I wouldn't get that from this cupcake. So, but I really enjoyed the flavors. They're homemade, they're good. Um, the flavor and the pistachio just needs to be a little more refined and then the pumpkin just, the, the texture is a little off. So these next two cupcakes are cupcakes that I'm most excited about. And they are from Treat. The first one is this eggnog cupcake and they have little droppers that have alcohol in them. And this is the eggnog cupcake and this is the pecan pie moonshine cupcake. And I love the little details like, look at the little pecan pie on top of this one and then the little, the little wafer on this one. Super, super cute. So I'm first going to taste the eggnog one and I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the alcohol into it and let it settle. And I'm super excited to try these. So I'm gonna taste the icing first. really really good so this cupcake encompasses everything that I would want in a cupcake so from the flavor to the texture to the appearance of the cupcake everything is just top-notch to me um, so if you get one of these boozy cupcakes from treat be prepared because they're quite boozy but really really good I mean it's eggnog so so my next cupcake from treat is this pecan pie moonshine cupcake and I'm super excited about this one I'm gonna go ahead and taste the little pecan pie thing on top it's like pie crust Y'all, I'm getting tired of eating cupcakes. So this has a pecan pie filling. Let's just taste it. Mmm. You really do get pecan pie. I can't eat anymore, but it's really, really good. Texture is really, really good. The flavor 
I can just smell it and know it's gonna be pecan pie. And then when I bite into it, I get pecan pie from top to bottom. There's the filling, the icing is pecan pie, the cake, and then the topping. It was just amazing. So these two cupcakes, I'm gonna give both of them a five because they just checked all the boxes that I have for a cupcake. Last but not least, I have two cupcakes from the Sweet Boutique and I have had their cupcakes before, but I've never had this, these flavors, so let's try them. Being super adventurous. This is a peppermint cupcake, and then this one is a salted caramel cupcake. My stomach is starting to hurt. This is peppermint, and I'm really not a peppermint one first. I'm really not a peppermint fan, but I'm going to try it. Okay, there's no peppermint in the Swiss meringue buttercream. There's a few little crumbles on top, so I'm gonna see what that is. Mm. That's some sort of peppermint candy. Ooh, this cake looks like it's super dense and dry. It's really dense. It's not necessarily crumbly dry but it's heavy. It needs to be more light and fluffy and moist. Like you can feel it and it's just heavy. But I will say that I enjoy the peppermint more than I thought I would. Next is salted caramel, super simple. It's a chocolate cake with, seems like a regular buttercream. Regular buttercream, does it have a filling? Now that is a decent chocolate cupcake. It's decent. It's no different than something I would get from the grocery store. But where is the salted caramel? Like a chocolate cupcake with some caramel drizzled on top, that doesn't say salty caramel to me, so that's kind of disappointing. So I did get a little fleck of salt, but it's still not giving me salty caramel. This is just a chocolate cupcake with some salt sprinkled on top. The Sweet Boutique for the peppermint, I'm gonna give it a three and a half, but for the salty caramel, I just didn't get salted caramel, so that was a lazy cupcake. I'm gonna give that one a two. So y'all, I have finished tasting all of these cupcakes and my stomach is hurting. And on top of all of that, I'm super tired. I went to 10 cupcake places all in one day in Houston traffic. It was cold and raining, so I hope you guys really enjoyed me tasting all these cupcakes. Um, I um, Locations that I really enjoyed their overall setup and decor would have to be Sweet, Becca Cakes was really, really pretty, Celebrity, and Treat. Everybody else was pretty average, a pretty average bakery setup, but those people, um, well those bakeries, the aesthetic was really, really nice. Um, I am going to put my ranking up on the screen right here so you can see how I ended up ranking all of them. Overall, favorites are going to have to be the Champagne Cupcake from Sweet and Treats Cupcakes as well as I really like Crave's Wedding Cake Cupcake. So yeah, that is the conclusion of me trying cupcakes from all around Houston. These are cupcake places that are one, well known, but two, um, people just really like people, like these are go-to places for cupcakes. So 
that concludes my review of all of the cupcakes in Houston. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and let me know if you've been to any of these bakeries or if you plan to go to any of them. Um, I think you should check all of them out. All of them have something good to offer. Like I said something about Sprinkles Cupcake, but I love their ice cream. And when you get them when they're fresh, they're really, really good. So check all of them out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I have a giveaway coming at 200 subscribers. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I would hate for you guys to miss it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.